and welcome back to my channel. I'm Shauna Patterson and today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me slash life update video. I don't usually just like sit down in front of the camera and talk about myself. So I figured I would do that today. I did my hair already getting ready for work this evening. I work part time as a server right now. So I just curled my hair with a one quarter inch barrel. I have a bedhead one. It has like a blue handle on it. Works pretty good. I am going to do my makeup. I already have started doing my foundation because you know, I decided to do this after I started getting my foundation ready. I'm actually using the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation and I picked this up from Walmart actually. But I was so stoked to find this because I am in love with the L'Oreal Infallible Stay Matte or True Matte um, foundation And I love that foundation, but it's very drying on the skin Especially for winter when my skin is super super dry and also in the summer I kind of want to have more of like a dewy complexion and so far It's really really good around like my nose area I find that I do get a little bit oily because I get oily even wearing like the Stay Matte foundation That's just like my oil area. So if you have oily skin probably wouldn't go for it but if you want just like a, a very like thin layer of foundation something you can just rub in your hand put on your face like in the summer get ready and go then this is definitely a great option for you because it still gives you quite a fair amount of coverage it looks bomb af i am in the shade 204 rambling on about this foundation but i just wanted to share it with you guys because i was like so excited when i found it in walmart because it hadn't been released in canada for quite some time i haven't decided what kind of look i wanted to do yet usually i go for more of like a pinky look in the summer go Good with my highlighter and everything, but here I'm gonna use my Garnier Roller Ball and just do upper eyelids. It's kind of like an eyeshadow base and underneath my eyes just to waken them up because it's Saturday morning and I'm tired, yo. As I'm doing this, I'm going to share with you guys a little what I've been up to really over the past while. Last you probably saw I was doing like my thesis show, graduating, graduated with a Bachelor of Interior Design in June. That was awesome. Uh, posted some photos on my Instagram. Instagram. I was wearing this little yellow dress that I picked up from H&M. It looked cute. So cute. Maybelline Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser. And that's what I'm going to be using as my concealer. No way am I good at makeup. I literally use my hands for half of these products. There are plenty of people way, 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 way better than I am at this. But yeah, that's okay. The video is more so just like me talking about what's been happening there's a few people who have been like asking me questions especially about my interior design videos and i'm actually going to be refilming one of them today because i addressed some things in this video that i filmed but it was literally like half an hour of me talking something about the video just wasn't like grasping me so i think i'm just gonna refilm it and try and be a little bit more concise with my words than i was before oh it's getting really hot in here i have to like close my door my ac doesn't really like come up to my room that well and it's also like super super heck of hot out in toronto right now now i'm going to be putting powder on my face using this brush it is the eco tools one I picked it up from Walmart and I love this brush I've used it for years and I'm just gonna be using some cover girl cover girl loose powder and just dusting that over my face I ran out of my Rimmel London uh, translucent powder I have to go pick that up before I leave which I'll be getting to in a moment and that was my usually like the typically one that I use but this is all I got for now so we're gonna use this and I'm just dotting this over my face whenever you're putting a loose powder on don't like do sweeping motions that just gets rid of all your makeup that you just put spent so much time putting on that's what they say to do so that's what I'm going to do after I graduated from university I graduated in June I decided that I wanted to just take a time period for me to just chill like relax my brain obviously being in university like finishing up your thesis times are gonna, gonna be very very stressful and it was very stressful for me and I was very like work to the bone I put a lot of effort into everything I knew that I just needed a break so instead of jumping like straight into the firm life and going like right into a full-time job of any sort I knew that I just wanted to take like a breather and I also knew that I was going to be traveling over the summertime and into the early fall I just decided that what was best for me was just to keep with my same part-time job that I had been doing um, throughout university and just keep with that like in the summertime I like going out I like being able to just like spend time in the outdoors because I'm a very summer person I do not like the winter I come very it's snowing it's cold even though I I like to snowboard and like ski and all that that I just wanted to like have time to relax like go up north go to my cottage me and my boyfriend and our friends went to Bruce Peninsula camping we went to Gosega Beach we went to Montreal for Oshiega a few weeks ago and that was super super fun just doing like all these different trips that I knew I just wanted to like do we went to like the zoo we went to all these different places it's just been like a really really 
great summer so far and like playing Pokemon Go obviously. I think I'm gonna do like a brown, like a light brown look today. So I'm gonna go with my Naked 2 palette and use Aspect. It's like a light brown color. Whenever I'm doing the base color, I just like patting it on with my finger. Now I'm gonna go in with this other Eco Tools eyeshadow brush. I'm going to use Snake Bite and just put that into my outer crease. The Naked One palette, and I'm just going to use Buck. Usually, sometimes you could do your crease before you do your outer darker color, but who cares really at this point? I have some exciting news. I'm actually going to be going away to Europe. I am going to Reykjavik, Paris, London, Amsterdam, Switzerland, going through Brussels, a whole bunch of really cool stuff, and I am super, super excited. I've never been to any of these countries before. I visited Italy and Rome and Greece and Pompeii and like all those Athens and things like that before, but I haven't been up into like the classic London, Paris thing, and we're also doing like a stopover in Iceland. So so I thought that I was going to bring along my camera equipment and like my digital handheld camera and like my GoPro and everything and I would do some vlogs while I'm there because I personally just like having them for memories of my trip so I can share with like my family and my brothers and everyone back home once they once I come back home because honestly I just like watching some of my videos and just like looking back reminiscing on memories and everything like that. I figured some of you would be interested in some traveling vlogs so we'll see how that goes. I'm not a huge vlogger but I hopefully it works out but I will bring you guys along with me and hopefully those vlogs work out and that I can put them up for you guys. I have a lot of sensitivity to makeup so and just like products and stuff like that. I just use what works for me. I don't really like experiment too too much. I don't want my eyes to get swollen. My boyfriend I haven't introduced onto my channel yet, but he is supportive of my YouTube channel. He is interested in doing a video with me, so I'm thinking of like different challenges or something that we can do together. And I think it would be really fun. It would be really funny. He's a great guy. And he's quite fashionable too, so I think you guys would really like him. I think it would be really cute. I think it would be I think it would be funny for the most part. But I think it would be really cute. And basically that is the gist of everything. I just like being like out and doing things. Like whether or not that's just going out for a walk, going somewhere. <laughs> like I just like being out and doing things. I just don't like spending all my time like sitting on a couch and just like watching my like Netflix and it doesn't necessarily mean like working, you know? It could just be like creating something or like doing a DIY or like painting something. I recently finished a painting of geometric like pixelated wolf painting. I have a picture of it up on my Instagram. I've always been like a person to just like want to like do things. I also like like in my downtime but I've just been always been like a, a doer. Now I'm gonna go in with some white eyeshadow. This is just a loose powder from NYX. I just have it in a different applicator bottle. Just putting those in the corner of my eyes. Mascara and the claim to fame for this was that there is tinting inside of the mascara bottle so if you have, if you want to make your eyelashes darker after like a few applications of this, if you're using it like daily for a few weeks, it's supposed to make your eyelashes darker. I don't know if I noticed a difference. I think I noticed like a very small difference. Also keep in mind that my eyelashes are bleach blonde. That might be why it's not really picking up the pigments too well, but because my eyelashes are bleach blonde, I wanted to try it out and see if it would be able to, I don't know, dye my eyelashes. Overall on just like the quality of this product as a mascara. Not a huge fan of it. I always have to double it up with another mascara because it just doesn't make my lashes full enough. It just doesn't build the lashes up how some other mascaras do. So then I'm going in with this um, YSL mascara, Yves Saint Laurent, however you want to pronounce it. I'm going to touch up my eyebrows. They're pretty good right now. I really forgot to do this before, but I'm going to be just going in with some a, like a light eyeshadow. I'm using the One Virgin from the Naked One palette, and I'm just going to be putting this on the upper portion of my eyelid, it just is like a little bit of a highlight. And using my Hoola bronzer, I'm going to do a little more contour. Last, but certainly not least, everyone's favorite part, the highlighter. I'm using the Becca slash Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop Pressed Highlighter. This is a sheer pink lip gloss from MAC in the shade Paper Lantern. And then I'm going to finish off the whole makeup look with some setting spray. This is the one Maybelline Master Fix Wear Boosting Setting Spray. This is my second bottle of this stuff. I really, really like it. Just fan yourself. Like a Greek goddess that you are. Okay. That's enough. All right, that is the end of my Get Ready With Me makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I'll give you guys a little bit of update on what I've been doing with my life over the summer and what I continue to do. I'm heading off to Europe soon, so super excited about that. Make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can see my videos as soon as I post them. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.